What's up, YouTube peeps? So this is Jessica Villaro, and we're back with 30 Days, 30 Tips on how to grow your direct sales business. If you can tell, I'm barely getting my voice back. I was sick, super sick. So I will be sipping on this while we talk about what we're going to talk about today. So let's get right to it. It's five and a half years ago when I first started my direct sales business, I was told that this business was a journey of self-development. At that time, I guess I didn't really know what that meant, but I'm here to tell you almost six years later that that couldn't be more further from the truth. With your direct sales business, it's so, so, so important that you find ways to become a better you, a better you than you were yesterday, every single day. You have to do that. You have to feed your mind. You have to have a positive mindset. And create a belief that maybe you don't have when you first start. So I'm going to share with you some of the things and the books that I started with when I first started. Um, I am a reader by nature. So I know you may be watching this and saying, Jessica, I don't like to read. Guess what? You want to become a leader? You want to become top in your company? You're going to have to. If you're probably saying, I really don't care about self-development, but... I just want to sell. I just need to get sales. Tell me how to get sales. I just need to recruit. Well, guess what? You feeding yourself and becoming a better you every single day and growing who you are stronger each day is going to eventually convert into you becoming a top seller or a top recruiter. But it all starts from the self-development like that is a huge piece of the puzzle that I think a lot of people forget and they don't choose to put that much time in and when the going gets tough, they quit. But a person that feeds their self and grows, the times can get tough, but you're going to roll with it because you're that much stronger because of it. You have that much more belief in you. You have that much more belief in your industry and in your company. So I'm going to share with you today some kind of things that I do on a daily basis and maybe it'll help you. So first and foremost, what I try to do every single day is ideally on an ideal day, I am a believer that may not be so with everyone, but I'm showing you what I do. So I try to connect, you know, with God some way, somehow, because I truly believe that that is who I need to connect with, to be a better me, to be a better leader, to be a better mom. So every single day I try to get up, I try to read a scripture, I try to read a book. This is the book that I'm currently reading. And um, I try to gain that every single day. Second, earlier in my journey, I did this super, super consistent. And I geared away from it. And as a leader, we are in our last quarter of 2016. So you find yourself sometimes reflecting and looking back at what worked, what didn't, what you want to start trying to focus on in the new year. So with that being said, I am going back to my roots of journaling. And you're probably saying, well, what does that do? Well, you know, along our journey, we all have times that we get stuck. We feel defeated. We feel like, you know, negative. We're not having success or things that we're doing are not working. So when you sit there and journal every single day, good or bad, you're able to look back on it a year down the line, open it up and see like, man, I was struggling then, but I got out of it and this is how I did it. So it's a great way for you to be able to document your journey, but at the same time, go back and reflect on how life's going to happen. Things are going to go up, things are going to go down, but you are going to pick yourself up and you're going to get through it. Okay, so now we're going to talk about a few books that I feel have been game changers. So the first book that I ever read in my journey was Beach Money. This, uh, the author of this book is Jordan Adler. I feel that it gave me the belief in the industry and it gave me a picture of what was possible. I didn't have that in the beginning. 
and reading this book changed my whole outlook on my business and I got to work. So if you, maybe you're struggling that you don't really, you know, you don't know what to believe about the industry, this is a book to definitely read to build your belief in the business and to know that <laughs> the sky's the limit. So this is a great book. My second one, this is a book that I go to every single like month every single month i read this book like four times and i teach so many key principles in this book to my team every single day rock your network marketing business by sarah robbins if you're in the direct sales industry if you're a leader then you definitely know who she is and she is a force to be reckoned with and i would definitely definitely highly recommend this book and you to follow her so Two books that I am in the middle of reading. I'm I have finished this book and this book right here. Every girl boss needs this book. If you are an entrepreneur at heart, if you absolutely love everything about success, about finding happiness, about just connecting with how we feel as a woman, um, and how we utilize that in our business every single day this is definitely that girl boss book that you need this you are a badass by jen sincero this is a great book it's more about just finding who you are the greatness that lies within you and just living an amazing life and just stop with the self-doubt that is a great book if you're maybe you're thinking I'm always doubting myself. I don't think that I'm good enough. I don't think that I did that right. That is the go-to book. And this right here is probably one of my favorites. This is a book that I wish I would have had early on in my journey. Because man, I would have changed so many things. But this book right here totally encompasses what direct sales is. How it is a journey of self-development how to be great in this business and become a top leader and build an amazing organization. Self-discipline is how you're gonna get there. You have to stop with the excuses already. And this gives you a little bit of dose of reality that maybe you ain't trying to hear, but guess what? We all gotta hear it. So if you are ready to take your business to the next level, if you're, you're ready to stop making every single excuse in the book on why you can't, do something whether in business or in life this is a go-to I wish I would have read it about two and a half years when I first purchased it so that is my little spill that I wanted to give you guys today and just know this is something that I'll leave you with you can determine how much money is in a person's account by two things number one the people that they associate themselves with so you always want to surround yourself with those people that you want to be like. And number two is the books you read. So understand that every single thing we do every single day is a direct reflection of how we choose to live and how we choose to work our business every single day. If maybe you don't feel that you're at a point that you're strong enough in that area, don't miss that vital key point of making your direct sales business work. You could be a top seller, you could be a top recruiter, you could be a top performer, but if you don't truly take the time to work on who you are, you're missing a big piece of the puzzle. And you may have some success right now, but then I can't tell you how long you're gonna keep it. So I hope that helped you. If you like what you saw, please share this with your teams or anybody else that is maybe in another direct sales company that can benefit from this period and if you like it give me a thumbs up and thank you for watching as always and make sure that you subscribe to the video and that you hit the little bell and get notifications so you don't miss any video that i upload from here on out so thanks guys bye <music>